What's up guys, Keith Kelfus. This video is about masculine and feminine consciousness. What's that? And woman problems, okay? It's not a video about, you know, little tips and tricks and how to get a business off the ground as far as print business cards, get LLC, knock on doors, watch it grow. Like, all that stuff is important. But I believe the inner game and the inner turmoil you go through and the suffering, if you don't figure out how to fix all that stuff, you're never going to get a business off the ground. Or if you do, it's going to be like way harder than it needs to be. So this is the inner game stuff. I'm going to talk about like the worst of the worst, start you out of, you know, the beginning, take you to where you're going to break that stuff off and really change it up. And then where you're going to go is, you know, success, quadrupling your income being where you want to go so you got all these oh yeah disclaimer this video is not for mr. macho masculine guy who's you'll never be successful you are a wuss and I am a, like I'm not talking to that guy I'm talking to the guy who's going through you know if you're going through suffering and you're in anxiety all the time and indecisiveness and you're scared and maybe in a relationship and, and your your woman is crazy and she doesn't trust you whatever that is i'm probably talking to you i'm qualified to talk about all this stuff because i've been through it and i've got an amazing coach coach rob who's taught me a lot of stuff too about this so all right so if you're terrified all the time you're biting your nails and you're shaking you're in anxiety you can't focus on anything um maybe you're on the phone arguing with your girlfriend or your wife and she's screaming at you and it's like chaos all the time and how are you ever going to get you know up and out of your job and get a business off the ground or, or grow your business if you're dealing with all this chaos at home your relationship to the feminine to your woman or your wife is your relationship to your business is your relationship to your life it's a direct correlation it mirrors it that's what the energy does it's like yin yang so you got all these masculine, uh, ball-busting females. They're feminine inside, but they feel like they're forced to be masculine and call all the shots. Because I promise you, 80% of my clientele are strong women looking in my eyes saying, how much is my bill today? Right? You got all these strong women and all these weak men with the remote control like that are scared to even man up. So maybe you were abused as a child. Maybe that you were screamed or yelled at or you had your masculinity ripped out of you before you even got a chance to grow it, right? Like a little seedling is trying to grow and someone just comes and plucks it and destroys it. There's a lot of things that can go on in childhood to develop. Uh, take a man and, and have him develop a feminized weak shell where he's afraid to be a man and call the shots because he doesn't feel that his word is worth anything. He doesn't feel like he's worth anything and he doesn't speak up and say this is the way it's going to be because he's afraid that no one's going to listen. So how do you go take all that, that chaos and begin to transform that and break that shell off and start to shine light in, in on your consciousness and really reconnect with your masculine core as a man. I'm not talking about the man my way or the highway, blah, blah, blah. That's macho man garbage and that's like an immaturity of masculinity. I'm talking about like, you know what I mean, like Clint Eastwood and all that. Uh, my coach Rob says, King Leonidas from the movie 300. Every time he makes a decision, he stops. He goes, breathe in. breathe out. He holds sand in his hand, lets it fall through his fingertips. He looks at the sky. He reconnects with the nature and reconnects with his body and his breathing and becomes centered and then makes a decision. That's masculinity. Masculinity is the riverbanks. Okay, femininity is the rushing river. Masculinity is the river banks that hold it. Masculinity is the universe, the emptiness. Femininity is the, the explosions, the, the, all the commotion, the energy, the light. And masculinity is the container that holds it. Masculinity is the staff that never breaks, bends, or folds, or crumbles. Femininity is the storm that rushes against it to try to make it fold. 
If your woman can get you to crumble or collapse under her pressure, I don't care how crazy it seems or how crazy she seems, or she's crazy. <laughs> when your woman is attacking you like the feminine goddess biting your head off, forcing you to be present, if you're, if you're defending yourself and arguing with her <laughs> like that, she wins every time because she's sucking you into her frame. If she can suck you into her frame and you validate her, whatever she's going through, that makes you a weak, flaky, untrustworthy, feminized man who can't deal with her. I went through a lot of this stuff. My wife is, uh, she's Chaldean, bro, and my wife is a tough cookie. So I had a great, great teacher, and I was, you know, I was willing to go through this process because there is no better, greater match for me in my life to grow me up as a man than to be with a woman like her. Bam, I found it. But your woman might be the woman for you if she's like that because she's challenging you to grow as a man, as a masculine man. So think about this. When you're in touch, get back in touch with your masculine core self. You have a definiteness of purpose, plans, sequences, structures, goals. You decide and you execute. You're present. You're in touch. You're centered. When your woman attacks you with some crazy stuff, there will be none of this in my environment. <laughs> like, boom. When you don't let all that leak in and get all over you and all that stuff, now you better have your act together. If you're, if you're like, not good and you're, you know, then you deserve it. You deserve it. But if you got your act together and your woman's attacking you, then you can make the discernment. If you're not caught up in some flaky feminized stuff, you can make the discernment of if that's her stuff. If that's her stuff, boom, that's her stuff. You're not going to put up with it. And then when you do that, it's going to feel like you're abusing her. I'm not talking about abuse. I'm talking about like emotionally abusing her because you're not validating and being like her girlfriend and all that stuff. When you were like, boom. A strong man with your woman, what's going to happen is she's going to feel that boundary and that boundary will give her a sense of space that she can rely on and relax into, okay? If your woman's wrong and you're sitting there validating her and being a little wussy with her, then you're like one of her girlfriends and she can't trust you. But if you're a strong masculine man that knows when to say no, this is the way it is, not an abusive way. But in a mature way, what's going to happen is that's going to allow her to be able to relax and be a feminine woman and completely trust you. And I promise when you become a trustworthy man who has a purpose, your entire relationship is going to change. They teach this stuff in every culture and psychology and relationship, uh, counseling and, and church, all that. That's like it right there. The masculine feminine dance. And the depolarization and the shift of masculine feminine consciousness, which means that you got these feminized men and these masculinized women. When you can get back to your core, your woman can get back to her core. Why is this so important in running a landscape company? This has nothing to do. It has everything to do with running a landscape company or any type of business. It has everything to do with being a man. Because when you can get things right with yourself and right at home, take a breath and get in touch with your core that's when everything else and the how-tos just begin to fall into place. So I hope you got something out of that. You know, I really care about you. I want you to be successful. I'm serious. If you're going through a lot of this inner turmoil, a lot of this crap in relationships, or you're, you're, you're suffering, I want to let you know you're suffering unnecessarily. It's not necessary. Through the tools of literally consciousness and reconnecting with your masculine self is how you can grow, go from suffering to breaking all that crap up and, you know, be going through the process of dealing with it. And then you can grow and com and just grow and compound a level of success that you never thought was possible for you. It can all happen for you. You can quadruple your income. It'll all happen. It all starts inside of here. <sighs> Get centered before you make that phone call, before you walk in the door and see your girlfriend or your wife before you approach that client. You get centered with your masculine inner man. 
and that's where results happen that's it right there you feel that right there that centered masculine man who executes that's where success comes from not the scared flaky oh my god <laughs> right I still deal with some of this stuff I've grown a lot so it's perfect for me to talk with you about it because if you're dealing with it a lot I want to let you know you can grow out of all that so all right Keith Kelfus like subscribe and comment on the stuff and we could talk about it and uh, like I said I'm swamp busy I'll try my best to get back to, to every reply but yeah I, dude you can blow your business up and quadruple your income and done it's done right all right out